With the NFL offseason pretty much coming to a close, there's not much left to talk about. The draft has been done. The NFL offseason with free agency is over. I'd say pretty much almost everything is pretty set in stone going into next year. So I figured now was the perfect time to go over my record prediction for the Jags for this upcoming season. I'll be going game by game, giving you win, loss, and a little bit of an explanation for each. Um, and yeah, this video has the potential to age like milk, honestly. Like it's it's either going to look really good or really bad. There's really no in between here. So uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. Also, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, uh, turn on the notification bell. Uh, I'll have videos be coming out consistently within the next few weeks. Also, go ahead and leave a comment. Drop down below what you guys think the record's going to look like next year. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. All right, week one, we open up against the Washington Commanders, um, and there's three things that are for certain in life. There's death, there's taxes, and we own Carson Wentz. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say we're going to win this game. Um, it'll be the first game with the, you know, a lot of new pieces, a lot of people getting used to you know the NFL, a lot of young guys, um, even Andre Sisco, guys like that, ETN, who, who've been around for a year now but haven't seen the field that much. They're, they're essentially rookies. This is basically the first season. But I think we win this game. Uh, we put the pressure on Wentz last year, kept the Colts out of the playoffs, and he folded. Folded, I folded, I folded, I folded. I folded, I folded, I folded. And I think our defense only got better. It's tough to start the year on the road, but uh, I think overall this is a very winnable game. I don't think Washington really got that much better from last year. They upgraded from Taylor Heineke, I guess, to Carson Wentz, if you want to call it that. Other than that, everything's pretty much the same. They brought back Terry McLaurin on a three-year extension today actually like as i'm recording other than that not too many huge pieces have been added to that team we swapped Scherf for um norwell if you want to count that but uh i think we got marginally better from last season so i think this is a win all right week two i think we take another one we got the colts at home uh indy struggles to beat us at home for whatever reason even our one in 15 team that one win came from indy in the beginning of the season and i think it continues i think we start the season two and oh it's a good starting point Maybe really making a statement, really getting the team going together, getting more familiar with one another. I'm going to say we start off 2-0. and Does that sound insane? Yeah, as sad as that is, but I, I think these are both two very winnable games to start the year. All right, week three, I think our luck runs dry. Uh, we're traveling to LA to play the Chargers, and, you know, I think we're severely outmatched in this game. Um, they're a lot more prepared to win and win now than we are. Uh, we're still a process, and that's something I really want to emphasize here. Like, I'm not trying to be you know, too optimistic, you know, or too down on it. We're, we're a work in progress, a ton of new pieces, a ton of young guys. We have a young team and playing a team like the Chargers they, who've only added better and better depth. I mean, they got JC Jackson from New England. They got Khalil Mack from Chicago, pair him up with Joey Bosa, Derwin James coming back healthy. Like that's a scary defense, not to mention the other side of the ball with Justin Herbert. They just brought Mike Will back on a big deal. Keenan Allen's still there. Austin Eckler's a dog. dog. It's a really, really good football team. And on the road, I'm going to say our luck runs dry here. And we're 2-1 uh, and one at this point. Week 4, we're on the road again um, in a pretty tough atmosphere playing in Philly. And I think this is also a loss here. This is a, one of these games that can kind of go either way where I wouldn't be surprised with either outcome. And I know it's kind of a lazy take, but it's kind of tough to do these kinds of things without having those kind of games and being honest about it. Could I see us winning that game? Again, for sure. Could I see us losing that game? Yeah. I think I may be playing into being on the road a little bit more, but it is tough to win on the road in football. You know, like when the stadium's roaring and you're trying to call out audibles and try and do a bunch of things, it's tough to play in a place like Philly for sure. Again, though, a very beatable team, but um, I mean, I'm not going to pick a tie here. Um, so I'm going to give this one a loss here. All right, week five, our second divisional game of the year. Um, you know, if we're going to make the playoffs, we have to beat our division teams. It's something we struggled with severely these past few years. Um, shit, I can't remember the last time we beat Tennessee. Like, genuinely, when was the last time we beat Tennessee? I'm drawing a blank. Please tell me it wasn't when we played in those, like, gold mustard jerseys. I could be so wrong there. Either way, we play Houston in week four, or uh, week five at this point, um, at home. And... I I'm just going to say this, we, we, we have to win that game. Have to win our divisional games at home, especially against a team like Houston that I think we're better than. So I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to give the Jags a win here. I think that's three and two at this point in the season. Um, off to a really good start, I would, I mean, we have, <laughs> you know, triple the amount of wins from two seasons ago and we're already tied with last year. So 
Can't be mad at that. All right, next up, we got the Colts. This one on the road. A tough game. A really, really good team that added another vet and like Stephon Gilmore. Like this team just continues to get better. Swapped out Carson Wentz, picked up Matt Ryan. In my mind, huge upgrade. However, with that being said, what we've done on the defensive side of the football are perfect to play against these kind of teams like Tennessee and Indy. They're built to stop the run and force the quarterback to make plays, which, you know, Ryan Tannehill and Matt Ryan, they're really not going to be able to do too much, especially outside of the pocket. Ryan Tannehill can, but Matt Ryan is a statue. So if we can, you know, stop the run and force Matt Ryan to make plays, I think we got a shot to win. On the safe side, I'm going to give the road game to Indy. I'm going to give that to them. And I'm going to say we're three and three. All right. After Indy on the road, we're back at home. We're playing the Giants. And to be completely honest, I feel like we're going to shit on the Giants. That team is abysmal. We should be able to run straight through that defense and then dominate on the defensive side of the ball. Make Daniel Jones make plays and we're going to win the game. I really have no faith in this Giants team. Saquon Barkley's injury history is, you know, definitely for concern. I'm hoping for a bounce back year for him. Um, but other than that, there's really not too much I'm worried about on that football team. You know, like they beefed up the receiving core these past few years and picked up Kenny Galladay in free agency last year, drafted Kadarius Toney. And both of them are question marks. Where was Kenny Galladay last season? Where is Kadarius Tony now? Are they looking to trade him still? I have no idea what's going on with that situation. Daniel Jones is always kind of a, you know, I don't really have too much faith in him. Saquon, again, injury. Defensive side of the ball, I, they don't have much there. It's another young team, but I fully expect to win this game. All right, sadly, after this Giants game, I think the Jags go on a little bit of a skid here and uh, lose a couple in a row. We have a very hard part of our schedule here. Thankfully, there's a bye week in between here somewhere. But yeah, we got the Broncos in London. Uh, they picked up Russell Wilson, as you guys already know. They're a good football team. They were really just missing a quarterback, and they happened to get one of the best ones in the entire league. Um, and I think this is a pretty easy decision here. I think we take a loss here in London in our second home, sadly. But yeah, I, just, I think we're severely outmatched here. Denver is a you know, favorite to go all the way. So in no way, shape or form is this a bad loss. I just hope to compete in this one, but I think this is pretty much an easy decision to say we lose this game. At this point, the Jags are four and four going into week nine, playing the Raiders. I think we're at home. Yeah, we're at home against the Raiders, but a home game against the Raiders is really just a split. Like, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if there's more Raiders fans, as sad as it sounds in the stands than Jags fans. I hope that's not the case. But they travel, man. Those Raiders fans are crazy. Um, and they're a good football team. Just picked up Devontae Adams. I'm also a big Derek Carr fan. I think he's extremely underrated and has been for some time now. That's a really good football team who just picked up Chandler Jones. I wouldn't be shocked if we lost this game. So I think the Jags flipped that 500 record to a below 500 record here and are 4-5 and five at this point. You know, it doesn't get any easier. Up next, we're on the road in Arrowhead. Trevor Lawrence versus Patrick Mahomes. It's going to be a great game. I'm really excited for this one. Win or loss, I think I'll be frustrated, obviously, with the loss, but like, I'm really excited to see these two quarterbacks go head to head for the first time. But yeah, I don't think this is going to shock you. I'm going to predict the loss here. That's, I mean, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. They're Super Bowl champs from, you know, two years ago. They're still that good. They lost Tyreek Hill, which is a big loss, but have added some nice pieces throughout the offseason and a nice couple draft picks as well. I'm a big Trent McDuffie guy. I love that pick for them. But overall, yeah, I don't think I'm shocking you guys in any way, shape, or form by saying I think we're going to lose this game. But uh, yeah, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. God, I would love to win this game. Thank God we have a bye week after those three games. But again, it doesn't get much easier still. We play Baltimore, but good thing we have that bye week to prepare for Lamar Jackson and to try and neutralize him as much as you know humanly possible, if that even is possible. Whoa, whoa. We have a young defense. He might make us look a little stupid sometimes, but uh, I think it's gonna be a great experience for the guys. I wanna win this game. Baltimore's a damn good football team but I'm probably gonna be on the safe side here and expect a loss. Yeah, I'm not gonna say expect a loss. I don't wanna expect any losses, but if I had to assign a win or loss to it, I'm gonna say we lose this game, but I don't expect it. I wanna win this game. I wanna win every game. Don't don't get it twisted, but uh, we're a little outmatched here for sure. Um, their roster is a lot better than ours as of right now. Again, I know I keep saying it, we're a young team, a very inexperienced team with a brand new regime here. You know, it's not gonna just not all our issues are solved by hiring Doug Peterson and in spending a bunch of money in free agency. These guys got to prove it. These guys got to play to the level of the, of the amount of money we gave them. 
So uh, at this point, right now, just kind of assigning wins and losses, I'm going to say we lose this game to Baltimore. Thank God those weeks are over. We now have Detroit on the road. Um, Jags win that game. They have to win that game. We, I think we are a much better football team than the Lions are right now. They're in a similar position as though they're in a rebuild mode like we are. But I think we are miles ahead of that team because we have a quarterback. But also, I think we have a better supporting cast. We have a better defense, a better secondary. The only thing I think they beat us in is an offensive line. But with the amount of, you know, edge rushers we picked up, linebackers we picked up, we should give Jared Goff hell in that game. And I think it should be a statement. I think we need to dominate on both sides of the football in that game and get back on the right track and finish the season off strong because those past four or five weeks were tough. So I think we got to beat Detroit here easily, especially if we want to compete for the division or a final playoff spot. We have to start there and win in Detroit. So I'm going to give the Jags a win here. Up next, tough battle at Tennessee on the road. Yeah, I, it's, a, it's a tough place to win. It's a tough team to beat. I'm going to give the Jags a loss here. But man, would it feel good to beat Tennessee on the road. I, I hate doing these kind of prediction videos because I hate just giving the Jags a loss. You know, this is like kind of a ridiculous concept. Um, it's just kind of fun. to. It'll be fun to look at later down the line to see where I was right and where I was wrong. And kind of see how the team progressed throughout the season. And uh, it'll be fun to look back on, like I said. But as of right now, I'm just assigning wins and losses as it stands right now. I think the Titans are a better football team. I think our future is a lot brighter. But as of this point in time, I think the Titans take us here. I think they win this game. Up next, we got the Cowboys at home. Uh, last time I remember the Cowboys was on the road, and I think we lost by 40. Uh, at this point in time, I think I think we flip it. I think we win this game. Uh, Cowboys are a good team, but I don't think they're as good as they seem to be last year. They play in a really, really bad division. I think we can handle this team, especially at home. If we show out, they're another team that travels well. I think we can win this game. I'd love to see this matchup between Dak and Trevor. I think that'd be a really cool matchup to watch. Um, but the bank, uh, the bank. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's still it's still the bank. Bank should be rocking this game for sure um, on both sides. But uh, I'm going to give the Jags a win here. This might be a little bit of an upset, but I, I'm, I'm confident on this one. How about the Cowboys? All right, we're playing the Jets on the road again uh, like last season. But I think we reverse it. I think we win this game. We have to win this game. Uh, it'll be Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson second time matching up. Um, and I think I think they split the series here, even it up at 1-1. One I think the Jags take this one home, especially again, like I said, in the Detroit part. If we want to make a push, we want to make a playoff push. These are games you have to win. Um, even if, you know, it may be close between, you know, like, like Philly, for example, or the Jets or the Giants or, you know, even Detroit. Like, it, even though we may be close, if you do want to make a playoff push, you have to win your division games and you have to beat these close teams. These teams are kind of similar to you. You have to beat them because you got to overtake them in the standings. So I think the Jets, I think they have to win this game here. Um, and I think they do. All right, last two games of the season. They're both divisional games. Got to win one of them at least, hopefully two. It'll be a great way to finish the season if we can take two divisional games. But we are at home against Houston. No, I apologize. We are on the road against Houston and then at home against Tennessee. I think we win one. I think we beat Houston for sure. Tennessee is a different story. Tennessee is a tough team. Um... But again, if you want to make the playoffs, you've got to beat your divisional teams. Um, I'm going to go with a loss here uh, against Tennessee, but a win against Houston. Um, it, we at least have to split that to finish the year, at least. Um, and I think that puts the Jags right there at 8-9, and nine, which is, you know, a lot better than we've seen. It'd be, you know, two wins short of the 2017 season, given it's an extra game in this, you know, new scheduling format. But uh Eight wins, I, I would be thrilled with eight wins. That'd be a huge step up. You know, put a lot of momentum going into Trevor's third year and a second year in a Doug Peterson. You know, like, we're in a spot where, where I'd love to compete, but we don't have to be there just yet. I know that may suck to hear, but we're not, like, you know, we're not incredible. We're not, we're not where we need to be. We still have a ton of question marks all over the field. A lot of guys need to prove their value. You know, we just gave Christian Kirk a huge contract. How's that going to age, you know? Um, Evan Ingram on a prove-it deal. How's he going to pan out? Darius Williams, new guys in the secondary. Rayshon Jenkins, comeback season. Andre Sisco, how's he going to look in a full year starting, hopefully? If, if Wingard is out there, I'm going to be livid. ETN, another guy. Trevor Lawrence, second year. You know, Devin Lloyd, Chad Muma, both rookies. Josh Allen, is he going to break out here? Finally having an edge-rushing pair with uh, Trayvon Walker, how's he going to look? Is he going to live up to number one pick expectations? There's so many question marks here, you know? 
And as much as I do want to say, yeah, let's go for the division. Let's let's make the playoffs. I would love to do that. But would I be shocked if we didn't? No. No, I wouldn't. I want to. I think eight wins is a really good number of wins for us. I think that I would be thrilled with that season. I don't know how about you feel, um, but make sure, again, leave it in the comments. Like I said earlier, I want to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate you clicking on the video. Again, make sure to like, subscribe. It means a ton to me. And also, like I said before, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Am I way off base? What do you guys think? What do you think the record is going to look like? I'm curious to hear, so uh, leave it down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm very active on there. Shoot me a tweet. Uh, shoot me a DM. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, appreciate you guys. And uh, as always, go Jags. I ain't got too much to say, but y'all make sure y'all bring that same energy out here next week and the week after. We going to the Super Bowl and we going to win that bitch. We going to win that bitch. Duval!